First year of medical school. If you hear hoofbeats, you should think horses, not zebras. Are you in first year medical school? Damn! But when I was just a doctor cub, I saw a house, and to be honest, it inspired me to go on and become a doctor. Now I'm a full adult doctor. Let's see how accurate it is and have some fun with you and hopefully learn something along the way. This video is sponsored by Medical Negligence Lawyers for you. You'll see what. You should never keep anything from your parents. And I told mine, cut that. <laughs> That's not normal. Oh, you can hear the heartbeat going there in the background. C-A-L Uh-oh, the seizure. Okay, as an opening scene, that wasn't bad, but oh, she would not be able to write on the board if she wasn't able to speak because the same area in your brain, which is called Wernicke's area that controls spoken language, also controls written language. And that's a fact. People don't want a sick doctor. That's fair enough. I don't like healthy patients. The 29-year-old female... The one who can't talk, I like that part. She's my cousin. And your cousin doesn't like the diagnosis. Oh, that's quite unethical. You should never be treating your family or friends because it clouds your judgment and you can't weigh up risk and benefit like you would otherwise. So, any medical students watching? No, 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 no. Shouldn't we be speaking to the patient before we start diagnosing? Good point, Foreman. You should, doctor. No, but everybody lies. Dr. House doesn't like dealing with patients. That's a very dangerous way to be a medic. House, you'd waste so much time and energy if you didn't actually talk to the patient because you'll end up going down the wrong route and you won't find out things that are actually quite important. And even if people lie, they don't lie about everything. I mean, come on. First year of medical school, if you hear hoofbeats, you should think horses, not zebras. Are you in first year medical school? Damn! Why couldn't she talk? Aneurysm, stroke, or some other ischemic syndrome. Get her a contrast MRI. Whoa, so you don't want to speak to the patient, but then you want to arrange a contrast MRI? Organizing an MRI without taking a history is just pure dangerous because what if she has metal in her body somewhere? Uh, what if she has a contrast allergy? You wouldn't know, Dr. House. You gotta be careful. I don't feel too comfortable with this MRI. Oh, intense music. Okay, we're Something's again. coming. I once actually sat in a room with a child that was sedated just to look after them during an MRI scan. And it is terrifying. So if you're claustrophobic, then you don't do well in one of these scanners. And I, I understand why. Oh, she's having an anaphylactic reaction to the contrast. That's what happens when you don't ask the question. If she's having an allergic reaction to the catalin, she should be dead in two minutes. That's why you take a history. She's not breathing. Every point five. <gasps> Too much edema. Where's the surgical airway kit? Yep, coming. What kind of a hospital is this? Is no one gonna call for help? Just the doctors on the scene? Where are all the nurses? Where's the crash team? Where's the resus officers? Hello? Am I crazy over here? Script writers, what are you doing? Your wife is having an affair. What? You're an orange, you moron. It's one thing for you not to notice, but if your wife hasn't picked up on the fact that her husband has changed color, she's just not paying attention. By the way, do you consume just a ridiculous amount of carrots and megadose vitamins? Carrots turn you yellow, then niacin turns you red. Find some figure paint and do the math. You can get a good lawyer. As if he just said that and walked out the room. What? You know, to eat the amount of carrots to actually turn your skin orange, you need to have at least 10 a day for a few weeks. And then niacin can cause flush, uh, but usually that only lasts half an hour to an hour when you're having a large amount in supplement. I presume he was probably waiting for a house for longer than that. Uh, and the effects are not long-lasting. Blood vessels are inflamed. That's going to look exactly like what we saw in the MRI from Trenton County. The pressure is going to cause neurological symptoms. We can't diagnose that without a biopsy. Yes, we can. We treated her. If she gets better, we know we're right. And if we're wrong? We learn something else.
you can't give steroids in a situation like this because if it's infection, then it will get worse because steroids actually suppress your immune system and stop it from fighting. House risky move. So how are you feeling? Much better, thanks. Are you Dr. House? I thought he was a he, but no. Steroids, Don't need they do that. So the interesting thing about steroids is not only can we give them as medication, but your body actually produces them in response to stress. Uh, and they can have all kinds of side effects, you know, like increasing hunger, weight gain, um, causing you to have difficulty sleeping at night, fluid retention. And so you have to be careful when giving steroids. And especially when you give them as tablets, then they can cause even psychosis uh, and other mental health conditions as well. It's part of the reason why stress can affect your body so much. Yeah, he cares about me. Something's gonna happen. I can't see. It's infection. Another season. Oh, yeah. oh, the flat line. This this happens so commonly in medical dramas. You get the seizure and then the flat line straight away. And people do worry about seizures a lot. And you always see, because it's so dramatic, they put out an emergency call in the hospital straight away as soon as the seizure comes. But seizures are not usually dangerous until at least five minutes after the, they've started. And that's when we would give medication to try and terminate it. Before that, we really just support them as much as we can um, by getting the person on the left side, making sure they don't bite their tongue, getting them down on the floor so they don't injure themselves um, and waiting for it to self-terminate. I actually had a woman who had a seizure next to me on the plane once and I did those things and it just resolved straight away. Each diagnosis has its own time frame. When we see how fast it's killing her, we'll know what it is. And by then, maybe there's nothing we can do about it. House is an infectious disease attending, but he thinks of infection last. Come on! I had a couple headaches last month, mild fever. Sometimes I can't sleep and I have trouble concentrating. Is there anything for that? Do you know what I think there just might be? I need 36 Vicodin in change for a dollar. Oh, what's he gonna do? As if he can just ask for prescription drugs like that and they just give it to him. Oh, sugar pills. Sugar pills actually work extremely well. It's called the placebo effect, where someone thinks they're being treated when they're actually not they get better because of just how their brain reacts to treatment. And that's why it's so hard to prove that a new drug actually works because you have to compare it to this placebo. And sometimes when you do a medical procedure, you have to compare it even to a placebo procedure as well. Like you put someone to sleep and you even play around a little bit so when the person wakes up it feels like something's been done when it actually hasn't and they feel better as a result brain is a powerful thing you think she's got a worm in her brain it fits could have been living there for years never occurred to millions me millions of people eat ham every day it's quite a leap to think that she's got a tapeworm okay mr neurologist what happens when you give steroids to a person who has a tapeworm they they get a little better and and then they get worse now they're onto something. What would happen is the tapeworm would cause deregulation of the brain tissue, lead to epileptogenic activity and cause these seizures, but it would be completely curable with the right anti-parasitic drugs. But it proves nothing. I can prove it by treating. No, you can't. I was just with her. She doesn't want any more treatments. She doesn't want any more experiments. She wants to go home and die. Can you blame her, Dr. House? Look what you did to her. You stopped her heart with steroids, my friend. Why are you surprised? This is why you need to maintain doctor-patient trust as much as you can, because as soon as it's gone, it's gone. And that's why when a patient asks for a second opinion, usually it's best to just give one. Do you excuse us, please? Hey, a nurse! Wow, we found one. From Dr. House. It's good to meet you. 
He's checking if anyone's around. You're being an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why he was looking around. <laughs> if your doctor communicates like this, you've got a serious problem. How about treat her as if she's a human house? How about I'm sorry for giving you a seizure? Or what is it that's bothering you? Why are you refusing all this treatment? I hired you because you look good. It's like having a nice piece of art in the lobby. I was in the top of my class. But not the top. I did an internship at the Mayo Clinic. You were a very good applicant. But not the best. Would that upset you? Really? To think that you were hired because of some genetic gift of beauty instead of some genetic gift of intelligence? I worked very hard to get Oh my hand. god. <laughs> He's breaking every rule in the book. Drug addiction, medical negligence, and sexual harassment. Let's add it to the list. Why not? Pages. We still use those. I have to go. They found it. This here is a worm lava. How can a little guy like that cause so much trouble? So if it's in my leg, it's in my brain. It's good news. What do we do now? Now we get you better, Albenzo. Two pills. When I was trying to remember the antifungals for my medical school exams, they used to say that like albendazole, you remember it because worms are bendy. If anyone asks, you have uh, 11 daughters and five sons. <laughs> Look who's here! It's so good to see you guys, I miss you. We break visiting rules all of the time. I know management set them up, but I just, it's so hard to keep to them. Someone wants to see their relative and they're unwell. You just, I mean, how can you stop them? You just don't have the heart. During COVID, it was harder. Thank you, Doctor. Doctor House, you have a patient. He says he needs a refill. I told you, those sugar pills, they work a treat. Got change for a dollar? <gasps> oh, what an episode. Uh, you know what? That's even better than I remember, I have to say. Entertainment value is top notch, and the script writing, oh my gosh. You know, she, he said she was his cousin, but he's Jewish, and then she's he was lying. It turns out she had <laughs> ham in the house. <laughs> That was the cause of her neurosister's psychosis. I mean, whoever came up with this, bravo. I uh, hope you enjoyed that episode and learned something. I definitely did. If you like this video, the magical algorithm will pop up one over here to keep those cognitive wheels turning. And I will see you in the next one. Stay safe, stay happy, don't eat pork.